All right, everybody. So decided I had a little bit of time today. And for those of you who've never been in a dark room, I'd make a really quick video. Um, here's a dark room that I use frequently. It's a bit of a mess right now, but you can see here the enlargers. Uh, this is a station I use frequently. This enlarger is a Bessler Dicro 45S. And it's a, it's what's it's referred to as a color head. It's used for color printing. But it gives you infinite control over contrast when printing black and white. And that's why those heads are preferred um, over standard condenser heads. We've got an easel here. This is what you would use to um, adjust the size of the image on the paper. This enlarger is interesting because it's uh, up and down. It's controlled by that little motor, which is very convenient. This lever opens up this bay here, and uh, you'd stick your negative carrier. Here's one for 4x5. You take that, pop it in, and uh, you'd begin your printing process. Uh, here's one for 35 millimeter only, and this is much simpler to use. Um, it is a variable contrast head, but it's much easier to use, or or it's not it's not easier to use, but it has less controls, I guess, which could be uh, helpful for a beginner. Though they still produce fine images. And then you'd have your developer tray, stop bath. Um, it's just fix one, fix two, a holding tray, where this would be just uh, full of running water. And then you'd have print washers for 8x10, and um, I believe that one does up to 11 by 14 So yeah, just a quick tour inside of a dark room if you've never been in one. This is all the equipment you'll find in here. Oh, this is a timer. So this controls the exposures um, on this on this head here. You hit the button, it starts counting down. That shoots down the uh, exposure for as long as you set it for. And I might make some more videos on how to print black and white um, later on if that's something you guys would be interested in.